uh, my name is Telly, and uh, I'm from Congo, the Republic Democratic of Congo. It's in Africa, like in uh, Center Africa. And uh, I've been in the U.S. for four years now, and uh, this year is my first year at, at SF State. So hi, everybody. I'm Jacqueline. I am a transfer student from Santa Rosa Junior College. I am a communication studies major, and I'm currently at San Francisco State University. So hello, my name is Crystal Esparza. I am a student at San Francisco State University. My major is communications studies. This is my second year at San Francisco State. I am a transfer from Bakersfield College. So this would actually be my fifth year in college overall. Um, at the university, the professors have been a lot more helpful. They um, tend to, like they're, I don't know if like if it's their communication style, I don't know if it's like a school thing, but the difference that I've noticed from uh, BC transferring to San Francisco State, the professors there are a lot more helpful and they like just really, seems like they just really want to see you succeed or maybe I just wasn't as focused in my community college. But uh, that was a big difference that I've seen. The professors over here are very helpful. It was a bit rough at first just because of the lack of resources I had when I had to move back. But now things are better. I'm still on track with how I'm supposed to graduate. So I don't feel like it affected me much. In a sense, I feel like it kind of helped me because uh, all this alone time kind of helped me um, see like more, gave, gave me a more clear direction of what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go afterwards when I graduate. So I feel like it helped me instead of like it not, instead of it affecting me in a bad way. So, so, in, so I've been back home since March and I'm going to still be here for the foreseeable future. I don't really envisioning after this coming fall 2021, Spring 2021 is going to be online still, and I don't foresee like in-person instruction returning in the semester after that. So my friends are from different countries, mm -hmm. and uh, it was like fun to meet up and hang out. But right now, most of them went back home, and because my country was is still in lockdown, so there was no way for me to fly and get, go there. Wow! So that's why I stayed here, and. I'm just like at home most of the time and I don't have family around so it's pretty bad. Yeah. I wish I feel like the cost when it comes to um dorms I wish I would have done more research before moving in I would have saved a lot of money living um, off campus versus on campus. Maybe I would have done more uh, research on Facebook groups and yeah, I just would have done more research with like Facebook groups and try to connect with students before I moved. So I feel like trying to join clubs like that is just so important before like heading off to a college because it's just, it helps a lot knowing people around and stuff like in regards to everything, like when it comes to just choosing your dorms or where you're gonna live or, cause when I moved out to San Francisco, I was like alone a lot and it was, it sucked at first. But um, yeah, I feel like um, the networking part, joining clubs before you, um, or at least looking into clubs right when you move into the um, school, transfer to the school, just cause I feel like it would help a lot living off campus versus on. Um, Stay on top of those like deadlines don't wait till the last minute. I know like that's like such like an unoriginal piece of advice, like, oh, like don't wait till the last minute, but it really does make a world of difference because there are real world consequences for a lack of punctuality. And uh, that is a lesson that I have had to endure a really, really embarrassing amount of times before it like finally stuck with me. So learn from my mistakes on that one. say maybe like don't be afraid to do it but obviously like you, you definitely need to like take all of your individual like factors into consideration whether that be like your finances and all sorts of other stuff but but yeah of course it obviously depends on your major too like I have a friend who who's a, who's in the stem field and he's like taking this semester off because 
you really can't like duplicate like the experience of in-person classes. And that's especially true for people who are going into like the sciences because like he wants to be a doctor and like it, you definitely need that like real time in person on hands experience because if people's like lives are going to be dependent on your care for them, then you definitely really do need that in person instruction. So right now I'll just tell them to stay where they are to do not come here because like there's no fun in like, you know, like school does not have to always be serious, serious, you know, mm -hmm. like coming right now in the US, I don't think you will enjoy going to school right now here. I'll tell them to just wait until things get better. And then uh, another advice I'll give them is to know like it won't be easy. Like I, I, I was thinking that like when I'll come here, things will be easier. And like, we see like when you watch movies on TV, like about college, it's always party. It's like ne ne school is never serious and all that. But like when I came here, it wasn't. It wasn't, it was none of that. Like it was really hard. Like school was really hard. Study why or you are at a community college, try to join at least one club just so that you can start networking with other students to gain other perspectives and maybe see other types of schools and see what um, school could best fit you and just do more research into those schools and make sure you have a plan laid out that um, says which classes you would be taking each semester just to ensure that you'll be graduating on time and so that you won't take any unnecessary classes because taking unnecessary classes is a waste of time and money.